Hello, my brothers and my sisters. This is Prophet West. And if I know you saw my title, and my title says, Don't Die in Your Situation, I want to talk to you. There are some of you that have given up. You've given up in your current situation, whether it's your marriage, uh, or even it's the weather, the way you believe or feel. You don't want to do it no more. You don't want to uh, face it no more. You don't want to handle it no more. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. And the reason I'm here today is I don't want you to die in your situation. Don't give up. See, the thing about it, you must understand about anything with life, when things become difficult and when things become bad or get to a place where you can't bear it or you feel, you feel like it's at that place where it's at an all-time high. It's difficult. Oftentimes, your mind, it tells you, your mind will tell you when things are difficult, God is telling me not to. It must be, it must be not of God. But honestly, when things are difficult, that really means to push forward. Because in those difficult places where things are difficult, that's the indicator and the indication is that that thing is about to break. When worse become worse, that's when that worst thing is about to fall. It is. And so, but many of you that will listen to me, you're about to give up. Because things got tough. You want to give up. You want to walk away. That marriage, that marriage, I know it's tough. He made mistakes. She done made mistakes. But look at the percentages. Are they 80%? Is it 80% good? Is it 90% good? See, because we all make mistakes. And the thing that you must look at it, what if the situation is flipped and you're the one that need the mercy? You're the one that need the help. And the thing about it that you must understand even about even a marriage, the vows does say for better or for worse. You done been through the good stuff, right? Obviously. But now you're at the worst parts. You want to walk away from it. Don't do it. Don't die in that situation. Don't give up. Don't give up because you're breaking your blessing. You'll change. There are so many people that that with people when they were in that de developmental stage, they gave up on them until they became developed. And then once they became developed, until they really uh, became who they were, then they missed out. But don't don't let this be you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give out. Let me tell you something. In the Bible, there was these these leper men, leprous men. They were in a situation where if they stayed where they were in their condition, they knew that they would die. But if they went into the city where the adversary was, they knew that the adversary would kill them. But they decided, and they said within themselves, why sit we here and die? And you know what they did? They decided to move. And the fact that they moved when they went to the enemy, God created a sound. And that sound made the enemy leave. And when the enemy had left, they got there. Uh, the leper's men, they received all the spoils. And so even in a bad situation, because they moved, they became blessed. And so that's the example. And that's what I want to tell you today. If you just move in your bad situation, if you just move, you'll be blessed. But you'll never know unless you try. Don't give up because of what happened before, because it's bad. Because at the bad place, that's your breaking. Jesus, Jesus wanted to give up. In his final hour, he wanted to give up. But he said, not my will, but thine will be done, done unto you, D done, God. And because he said that, the Bible said at his wicked place, the angel came and strengthened him. The angels came and strengthened him. God can strengthen your situation. God can strengthen what you're facing. Don't die. The Bible says strengthen those things that remain that are ready to die. Don't give up, but fight. If it's worth having, fight for it. I'm done.